Welcome, welcome to what I hope will be a Deathless Darkest Dungeon run. Now I know what you're going to say. How is he going to do a Deathless Stygian run? Well, that would be impressive considering I haven't actually done a full Darkest run yet. So actually today we're going to start a Darkest Darkest run with no deaths. And if we get through that, then next up will be the Stygian run. Now, why are we starting it now? We're trying to get through the Radiant, which I've done already, and then the Darkest with no deaths, and then we're going to try Stygian with no deaths, all in an attempt to get Deathless before Darkest Dungeon 2 comes out. At which time, we will continue the Deathless runs. We will try and beat all of Darkest Dungeon 2 without dying. But let's start small. We're going to start with Deathless. No mods, vanilla, darkest, darkest. <laughs> we're going to call it darkest, darkest. That's what we're calling it. Doing a full vanilla run. So let's start it up. And with all of these rounds, all these games, they all start with the old road. For those that have played this game before, you know this is the tutorial level. We hope we won't die. But if we do, I don't know. It makes good content anyways. So we're going we're gonna to see if we can make it through this. So for those that haven't played this before, this is the general map, so you start in one area. There might be baddies in there or not. There might be baddies in the next room. There might be baddies in the hallway. And it's turn-based, so the speed that I was talking about, this uh, plus two speed from the quick reflexes, it goes onto a speed value, and then that's added to a roll, so you get some sort of random integer put on top of that, and then it's put against everyone else's, and it's uh, turn-based in that way. If we get lucky, then Reynald will actually go before this guy, even though his speed is lower. If we're unlucky, then this guy's going to get an attack off. So we're going to try and get rid of him pretty quick. Start with an open vein. There's an 80% chance that we'll get a bleed on him. So we're going to go for it. Solid hit. Okay, we did not high roll. Whoa, but did we? <laughs> we got it. We got it, boys. Okay. Now, let's see. It's best just to blast him. Get him out of the way. Some loot. 100 gold, not a lot. It's probably better just to use the bulwark, so you get the 20% prot. There we go, nice, nice. Keep Dismas nice and safe. Reynolds is a crusader, so he'll take all the damage. And then we'll just we'll just keep slicing with this guy. Like it's we're up to uh, four bleed per turn, so he's almost dead at this point. Maybe we can get a, a nice cheeky slash on this guy. Oh, no. <laughs> it was worth a shot, though. Like I said, the uh, intro is not very interesting. It's more just, uh... damn, that's a really nice dodge. It's just more there to teach you how to do things. So if we can clear him, then we don't have to worry about the health anymore. All we care about is stress. Nice hit, nice. Take all of that. Yeah, so it's done. I don't think there's anything else, but we're gonna hit continue adventuring just to see if we find anything. Yeah, okay, so that's the end of this map. Oh, right, the chest. I think this is trapped. Let's test. Let's give it, let's give it a test. It was trapped. <laughs> so let's finish it up, go to town for the first time. And uh, that's it. That's the first event. It's not really the first week, so we'll do more after this, but... Let's see what we get. Unerring, excellent, an extra 10% damage. So the major thing for the first week, is for me, is to get as much gold as I can. I don't want anybody to get negative quirks. I see that this kleptomaniac on Reynolds is really annoying. So we're going to try and get rid of that if we can. The tragic extent of my failing we have no money. <laughs> this is the graveyard. If this ever gets full. Uh, I hope this never changes. So we only have the one option. Let's put these guys on the list. See what they gave us. So we've got Judgment, a Heal. These are terrible. <laughs> these are absolutely terrible. Gonna have to do like a Battle Healer maybe or something? I don't know. Uh, and this guy needs to be in the back. So I think we'll run Red Hook, which is this current setup. Do we have any trinkets? No. But we're going to get a move speed trinket from this. Let's provision up. Not much to do at the start. The cost of preparedness measured now in gold. I think we'll grab lots of food. In blood. 
let's say two shovels is probably good. Lots of bandages because it's a blood uh, bleed run. A little holy water, and I like using torches as like a, a way to increase rewards, so we'll grab some of that. I don't think there's anything you'll need herbal medicine for, but I'll grab one just because I can. And that should be good. Laudanum isn't a big deal at this point. So that should be good. All right, let's get in. Week one! So we have to clear 90% of the rooms. There are two, four, six, eight rooms, so we'll probably have to clear all of them but one. They came with stress. Oh my goodness. These are terrible people. Should have torched up there. That's not good. This isn't great because we won't get the bleed off, but if we high roll five to nine so we can definitely low roll and not do anything, all right. This fight's pretty quick anyway, so we're just gonna try and uh, slash this guy out. Good, good. So right now we're stalling. We need some healing, so we're gonna just try and poke him a little bit. Or, you know, just almost kill him. That's good too. We'll get the battlefield medicine off. And hope that this girl goes next. Nice, nice, nice. We can heal for five. Nice. And now we can kill him with Renault. We could do one more turn, but we're almost back to full again, so it's not a big deal. Ooh, hallway fight. That's not good. That's really not good. <laughs> she might get shipped off right away. <laughs> Uh, definitely gonna pistol shot this person. Like I said, we have no stress healing, so we're just going straight for the kill on this guy. Uh, blinding gas? Blinding gas? We could just get the plague grenade. Let's go for the plague. Nice. Ouch. Please. That's better. Okay. Healing, healing. Looks like healing. Judgment. Ooh, I do like that self heal. Let's go for the self heal. Blap. Nice. And then we can do a bulwark. We're trying to get all the damage on Reynolds because we can always heal him up really easily. So we might as well just do that. Nice hit. Good, good, good. Battlefield medicine. We can do it on this girl. We know it's always going to be one, so it's just good to put it on whoever's high stress. Just in case we get that, like, 1% crit. And we will do a stunning blow. Try and... <laughs> we just killed him. All right. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's move on. That never happened. So, you can see up here, we've got Radiant Light. So, as this goes down, the stress goes up and the monster crits go up. But once you get to a certain low light level, your rewards go up as well. So... Whenever I think, like, oh, maybe I should stop, like, here, this looks like a good time to... Oh, jeez, never mind. <laughs> We're just going to try and make it through this fight. Uh, so we definitely want a blinding gas, because that stress is pretty high. Are you serious? No way. Oh, I'm so bad. No! <laughs> well, that's that. I guess we'll die. Mm. Okay, so if we stun here, here comes some 200 IQ plays. If we stun here, then he won't go until next, next Reynold, potentially. If we get really lucky. I think it's worth trying. Let's go for it. Nice hit, too. Wait, why can't I pistol shot? Oh, he's not in the right... No! <laughs> no! Ugh. Ugh. That's so awkward. All of this is awkward. Everything is awkward. This is so bad. <laughs> this is the worst fight ever. I'm not... I'm not healing him. <laughs> Moving forward. <laughs> oh, finally. Pistol shot, please. No. Absolutely bonkers. 83 stress. 
Amazing. This is going so well. A lot of little mistakes, but it's the first week, so I'm glad I'm making them. Oh my goodness. You can't... You can't script this. <laughs> How does that even happen? Wow, this has been one of the most unlucky runs. Just burning torches like they're candy too. Okay, nice final room. This is going to be such a pain to deal with when we get back to town. Like, we're definitely going to have to ship this girl off. 86 stress. She's not going to be able to do anything for weeks. So hopefully we get another healer on the next shipment of people. If we high roll, yes. 12% to crit. I think we go for it. It's a dodge. Nice. <laughs> nice. As is tradition. Oh my goodness. A double dodge. This guy's great. Dismas, don't die. Please. Don't end this run. I'm gonna clap this guy. Hopefully it works. What is happening? What are these rolls? That was a 25% to... Uh. Yeah, we had a 75% chance. We are missing all of them. This is crazy. This is honestly crazy. Go! Nice. So we get the 15% unholy damage boost. We can clap this guy. We did not clap that guy. Running low on health. Health is a resource, don't have to worry about it until we run way too low. Chance to clap? No chance to clap. Chance to not clap. Alright, sounds good. Nice! <laughs> this run is just hot garbage. Oh my goodness, okay. So he's not dead. But he's speed zero versus speed two. Let's go for a quick hit on this guy. If we get the blight, we do, so he's dead. He's got one health. Is that concerning? No. Because one health is more than zero. We could try... You know what? Let's just hit him for five, and then it's over. So there we go. Week one, done. And how did we do? Ooh, nice. That's a walkable ability right there. Nice. And... Not nice. Not nice. Reynolds, you are terrible. <laughs>